Are you planning to study abroad? Is USA on your study abroad list? Last year, more than 9 lakh international students immigrated to the US alone. Out of these students, more than 1 lakh 60,000 students were Indians, which makes it almost 20% of the total. But why? Why do so many Indians move to the US to get their higher education? I will give you not one, but five points in just the next 60 seconds. Point number one. If you look at the top 10 universities in the world, eight of them are in the US. Number two. You will be getting post-study work visa for three years post-completion of a STEM MBA. Point number three, $54,600. Converting into INA, that's a whooping 45 lakhs per month. This is what an average Indian earns in the US. Point number four, the median family earnings of Indians in the US is $123,700, nearly double the nationwide average of a normal US citizen. Point number five, US is home to some of the world's best companies and they give fabulous jobs, especially in the tech and the finance sector. Well, 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 lots of information in just 60 seconds, but this is just the beginning. I have a lot more to tell you all. American universities are not just a building where students study. It literally feels like they are small towns with their own museum, church, stadiums, labs, and much more. Now that you have some idea why Indians in lakhs are moving to the US, it's now time to dive deep into everything that the US has to offer to an international student. Hey guys, my name is Abhang Shunit, CEO and study abroad expert of MIMSA and Mentimi. And in today's video, we'll be talking and discussing everything there is to study in the US. But before we begin, do hit the like button and subscribe to MIMSA for all latest study abroad updates. First of all, there's no doubt that the US has one of the world's best education systems. Students get the opportunity to learn and work with some of the most outstanding researchers in the field. For example, at universities like MIT, students can go ahead and create initiatives. Other universities like UCLA have over 350 research labs, while at Yale, you can get involved in fields such as neuroscience, black hole studies, and climate change research. American universities offer a plethora of courses and programs to choose from. Right? You, have, you can literally do anything you want. Want to study computer science and become the next tech genius like Sundar Pichai? Get a degree in engineering or study business if you want to learn how money makes the world go around. Like Mukesh Ambani who pursued his MBA from Stanford. So if you have a goal in mind, no matter how bizarre it is, you will have multiple opportunities to make a career in it. Having a variety of options is definitely a plus point. But the catch is students often get confused which degree will be the perfect fit for them. So now let's get to the point, the degrees. Which are the best degrees to pursue from the US? The top three that make the cut are MS specializations, an MBA or a STEM MBA and the master in management. Let's talk about them one by one. Point number one, MS Engineering. Now we all know US is the hotbed of technology and they have multiple universities, schools, degrees to complement the same. There are over 10,000 degrees in US alone catering to different kinds of MS specializations from data science to horticulture to astrophysics, you name it and they have it. Now you must be wondering, MS is fine, but there are so many specializations. Which one should I opt for? Don't worry, I have a solution for you. I have researched on your behalf and created a list of highest paying MS specializations offered by the universities of USA. You can see the list on the screen. Some of them which are worth mentioning are the MS in Computer Science, MS in Chemical Engineering, MS in Aerospace. You'll find the remaining on the screen. Go ahead and take a screenshot. So now you have the degrees sorted, here is a list of top universities which you can pursue these degrees from. The highlights belong to Stanford University, Massachusetts Institute of Technology, Harvard, University of Pittsburgh, Northwestern, California State University, and the list goes on and on. I know the list that I've given you is of top universities, but why not? If you're concerned whether you'll be able to make it or not, here is a list of universities with high acceptance rates, up to even 75%. With a good SOP, a good profile, you can definitely make it. You can go ahead and take a screenshot. Now let's move on to the degree number two, MBA or the STEM MBA. I know the US can be very expensive. Typically for a top MBA, it can cost up to $200,000. For context, that's over 1.4 CR in Indian rupees. But if I look at the stats, this investment is definitely justified as it guarantees an exceptional ROI, making MBA a great option in the US. Plus talking about top MBA schools of the world, US ranks number one. Why so? US has seven of the world's top 10 schools according to the FT rankings. A lot of people ask us, so there's an MBA and there's a STEM MBA. What's the difference? Well, coming to STEM MBA, you need to understand the abbreviation. What does STEM mean? STEM stands for Science, Technology, Engineering and Mathematics. In simple terms, if you have a STEM degree, you will get a three-year visa compared to a one-year visa that you get for a non-STEM degree. While the MBA by name is a traditional business degree, the people running it are smart. What they've done is they've gone ahead and created modules related to these STEM subjects. So you have subjects on analytics, subjects on fintech and so on, hence giving some of these MBA programs a STEM affiliation. Hence, you get a three-year work visa if you go ahead and do a STEM MBA. It's as simple as that. 
Not only that, the average salary of a STEM MBA graduate is a whooping 110,000 US dollars. For people who are weak in math, that's over 90 lakh rupees in Indian money. By the way, if you want to study at a top MBA or a STEM MBA program at any top B school in the US, our experts at MIMSA can help you increase your admission chances by 300%. Just go ahead and book a 20 minute free strategy session from the link below. Now we come to degree number three, and this is a new one, the Masters in Management. If you don't have work experience but want to pursue a management degree which gives you the benefits of an MBA, MIM is the way to go. I know, I know, MIM is primarily a European phenomenon, at least that's what we've heard. But there are several business schools throughout the world who have climbed the MIM bandwagon, seeing how popular this degree is becoming, and are now offering their MIM degrees as their flagship program. Duke, Kellogg, Michigan Ross, Georgetown are just some of the top schools that offer the MIM program. This degree is currently offered by over 50 schools under numerous titles. The average tuition fees is on the lower side and typically varies from $45,000 to $55,000 and as a management graduate you can earn upwards of $85,000 depending on which field you go for. Popular fields that people go after graduating from the Master in Management are Consulting, Finance, Marketing and Product Management. So all in all it's a great degree. Now that you know everything about studying in the US, then what are you waiting for? Book a free study session with our team of experts right away and let them assist you in knowing everything that is about studying in the US. The link is in the description. Lastly, if you like the video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and subscribe to MIMSA for more such study abroad related useful content.